How goes it, YouTube? It's Minecraft to go here. Today I'll be teaching you how to install Zombies Mod Pack, or more commonly known as Zombies Fly Mod, and too many items into your Minecraft 1.2.5 client. Yes, 1.2.5 just came out a few minutes ago, and I just realized that too, and I was like, oh my god, gotta make a tutorial. So I am, and this is me making a tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is open up any internet browser of your choice. Alright? And then we need to go to, I was going to Google, Google, it's going to Google.com so I can show you, because I have a Google search bar up there, but you know, got to make it, I don't know. And then we're going to search too many, uh, actually no, zombie mod pack. And it's with a Z-O-M-B-E, -Z not Z-O-M-B-I-E. There's no I in zombie. Uh, all right. Click the latest link, and we're going to scroll down, and just going to click this one right here for MC 1.2.4 but it still works for 1.2.5 just not that much different alright now I'm gonna go back to Google yeah Google come on Google and now we're gonna search too many items click the last one and now we're gonna click uh, download for Minecraft 1.2.5 wait maybe maybe Minecraft 1.2.5 Came out a long time ago. I don't know. It's weird. I, pro I, pro I probably said that uh, 1.2.5 came out today. And it probably came out like a week ago. So I just made a fool of myself. A fool of myself. Alright. And now you're going to get these two .zip files when you're done downloading. Uh, zombie and too many items. Okay. You're going to need WinRAR, 7-zip, or WinZip, or anything of that sort to open these. And, um, you know. All right, now we need to actually go to our uh, our dot Minecraft directory where all of our stuff is saved. Now you're gonna click, um, you're gonna search for like right here, percent app data, percent, and click roaming, and then go to dot Minecraft. Simple. Now we're gonna right click new folder and we're gonna call this mods. With a there is a sf at the end, so some people get that confused and they're gonna get errors with zombie. And in that mods folder, you're going to right click new folder and you're going to call it Z O M B E. All right, now we're going to open up zombies uh, mod pack dot zip or whatever in or uh, with Win WinRAR seven zip or WinZip whatever you want to use. Okay, and then we're going to go into the config and now we're going to do all, click all, uh, highlight all these, go into the zombie directory and drag all those in. All right, that's cool. But now for Minecraft to read that there is a mod installed, we need to go to our bin folder in the from the .minecraft directory. Right click Minecraft.jar, open with WinRAR Archiver, 7-Zip Archiver, or again, WinZip Archiver. Doesn't really matter, just has to be like able to open jars and .zips. And I can, uh, let me just drag this farther here. All right, and now the first thing we need to do for mods to work, we, we need to delete the meta-imp folder. If you do not delete this folder, no mods will work, none at all. Well, maybe a few, but not many. And now we need to open up our zombies directory again, or zombies.zip file. Close and go into classes. Control A, pick all these and drag them into Minecraft.jar uh, Minecraft in the WinZip or WinRAR. I've ah, been calling that WinRAR for like the past three times. I've been, or, ah, of course, now it works. See, I've been calling it WinZip. For like the past few times I've been trying to record this and when I'm trying to tell you I'm calling it WinZip, I call it WinRAR, so you probably think I'm crazy. Whatever. Alright, now you can just close out of the uh, the zombies mod pack. Uh, zip folder uh, zip file. Now we're gonna open up the too many items uh, zip file and do control A and just drag all these in. Click OK. And now both mods are installed. But now for zombie, we need to enable mods we want. Go back to the dot .minecraft, mods, zombie, and click on config.txt, right click, and edit. Actually, no. You can just open it or whatever. I'm going to do it with Notepad++ so you can see it. Okay. So now we're going to look for Flymon, because that's probably what you want if you're looking for zombies. It's called Flymon. And here it is below the craft mod, or you can just do control F, fly. And there it is. Find next. There it is. So now, uh, to actually enable the, 
because zombie has 26 mods in it at the t at the time I'm recording this. It could be more or less. I'm not sure. So now we're just gonna delete the hash mark below uh, before mod fly enabled. This will enable the mod and all the options below it. All right, and if you want to install the craft mod, let's say, you can just do this. And now that's enabled, but let's say, oh, I didn't want to enable that after you've saved and you can't undo it and close it and all that. You're going to do shift three and you get the hash mark or number sign. And basically what a hash marks, it comments out this line. And if you're not too savvy with uh, coding, uh, when you comment out something, it means it omits it, omits it uh, from the actual file. And it just, whenever, whatever is reading it will not read it. It will just skip over it to the next line. Okay. So you do not want to mess with these if you want, if you want to toggle it. But say I wanted um, to enable it with uh, enable the mod with the J and then disable it with the K. That's how I do it. And then I'll delete this here. But if I, I just want toggling's better in my opinion, so I, I left that F. Now this do not worry about at all. I mean you can exper experiment around with that if you want, but I'm not. Uh, fly up the key fly up this basically when you pre press and hold this um, this is a key that makes you go up I keep that E and this one has a conflict with the dropping key which is also Q so I made my dropping key C and I made this Q because I rather not click C to go uh, down because it just feels weird all right and L shift this means the left shift button <coughs> and this basically, this is your speed modifier, which makes you go really fast, or however fast you set it. If you wanted to, you can make you go, yourself go slower with that, but why would you want to do that? All right. So I, and then I, this interferes with the sneaking, and I just made my sneaking tab, and I click tab with my pinky because it's awesome like that. Um, make keep that no. Uh, keep that L shift. All right, make this whatever you had this. Okay, you want those to be the same. Uh, ignore that or leave that enabled or if you can change it to no if you want just experiment experiment around with it um, keep that no now f no clip this basically means um, you can fly through walls and all that stuff which is pretty cool uh, floors ceilings and all that any block any all that but uh, yeah this is the key you toggle it with it's just like your F key up there so um, I keep that F6 uh, whether no clip mode is enabled by default, I would keep that no because let's say you forget about it and you join and uh, you join a server, you click uh, not server because it doesn't work in servers. You join your single player world, you click F, and then you go through wall into lava when you're in survival, and you're just like, oh no, all my stuff, and yeah, that's a problem. Uh, running speed multiplier with speed modifier. This is basically saying how fast you're gonna run with uh, the speed modifier. I'm gonna make that four or right, six. Vertical. Uh, the next one below is for ladders and water. I'm gonna make that for um, for vertical movement. <clears throat> this is just like when you're in air and you're flying. I would keep this point too because that's um, that's probably the slowest or fastest you can go when you're placing in blocks um, in a tower without missing, and then you have to go down and start doing it until you miss and go down again. This is probably the best speed to do it, but you might be able to do 0 0.025, and that could still work. Probably, I'm not sure. I've never tried it. Movement speed multiplier. Uh, just keep that as one, and movement speed multiplier with speed modifier. This is basically um, how fast you're gonna go when you're flying. With the modifier, you know. So they just word it really weird here, but this is basically is saying when you click shift and you're flying, how fast you're gonna go. I'm just gonna make that six. Um, you could uh, just keep that as one. Now jump high. This is basically when you're shift uh, when you're flying. Or no, when you're just shifting, when you click shift, how high are you going to jump? How, how high is the multiplier? Let's just make this 10 so I can show you some uh, cool stuff. Oop. I duplicated it by accident. Uh, now, this is the tag shown in the top left corner when you're flying. I'm just going to keep that make keep that flying, but make this capital F. Actually, no. I'm just going to make this... Lol, what? When I'm flying and when, I, when I'm going through no clip... Uh, Let's make it that. So you can see it when it's pretty obvious. So that's how you enable the fly. You can, you can experiment around with other mods um, if you want to. But I'm just going to do this for the tutorial. Now open up Minecraft. And 
we should be able to log in without any problems and here if you have any errors it will tell you right there so now I'm just gonna go single player ah this loud oh too loud everything must go down ah so glorious quietness so now if I click F I'm flying at normal speed if I shift up oh, gotta make let me do something here controls let me change it to what I like here. Let's see. Alright. This is what I like. So now I'm going really fast when I shift like this. And now, by shifting and jumping, I jump really high. Game mode. Okay, almost died. And now we also have too many items. And from here, I can make myself in creative. Uh, so at the time. Uh, whatever I want and also I can give myself lots and lots of items if I wasn't in creative in, uh, if I wasn't in creative but yeah pretty cool so let's go see that jumping action again shift click I've gone really high click wow this is fun click spider tie spider Alright, so thank you for watching YouTube. If you liked it, please subscribe because I make a lot of tutorials in the future and they're pretty much in-depth and noob-friendly. Yes, I got your string, which I don't even need, but you know. And uh, there's also a lot of cool features you can like... Oh, uh, yeah, I should go into more in-depth with too many items. Um, by giving myself items, I'm going to save that. Now, if you click Shift and click this trash can, it will delete all items. If I do this and save that as two... Uh, and I click load 1, I'll get the items I had from 1, and I click load 2, I'll have the items I got uh, from load 2, and you can delete those with those X's. And if you just want to delete 1, you, click, you can click shift, or um, you, click this, you click this trash can, and you start deleting whatever ones, or you can um, just click it and drag it to the trash can. Or take the item and drag it to over here, and that should delete it. Um, and also, if you shift click on those it gives you one 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 and that means infinite and I'm back I'm sorry for about that interruption uh, because when I clicked F9 um, back when I was talking trying to do the zombie error log or shower or whatever that's the same key to toggle my recording so I stopped my recording so what I was saying is if you, if you hold shift and you click items in here you'll get this one 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 if I go into uh, survival I I'm being shot at why are you shooting me uh, I don't want this game anymore. Ha! Peaceful wins. Lo, lo, lo. So if I place like this, um, it's actually above 64. But now if I go into my inventory again, and it'll be back to 111. So I'm like, grief the heck out of this place. Lo, 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 lo. Griefing the hell out of this place. As long as I don't go below 64 or 65, one, it'll go back to 111 every time I. Uh, Every time, every time I go back to my inventory, so I can't think for some reason today. But uh, if I had mod loader installed, that would not happen. It would, uh, it would just stay at one 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 forever. And the same, same goes with tools, but in a different way. So I, I shift click a tool. It's gonna give me one tool, and now it has infinite uses. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe because I like to go in depth in my tutorials, make it new friendly. Because uh, when I was uh, still looking for tutorials how to do all this stuff, um, I never found a really good tutorial. It took me about 15, 30, 50 videos. So I hope this uh, helped you. If it didn't, consider a like or subscribe because it helps me out. But if you don't want to, I don't care. It's your choice. Uh, so thanks for watching. For the fourth, eighth time. Uh, just talking in a circle, so you know what? F9.